Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. Since we have started our online classes in this one year span of time, we have trained several thousands of students preparing for various competitive exams. If you want to meet our expert faculty team, you can meet our expert faculty team and we are going to come across with best and unique content which will help you to crack your examinations in a smart way. We are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail and we are going to come across with best and smart approaches which will help you to crack your examinations in very short span of time. Our expert faculty team is going to teach you each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you want, you can join our free foundation batch. This free foundation batch, you need not pay any money for this. And in this free foundation batch, you can meet our expert faculty team who are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you have any doubts, you can contact us through these numbers. And we welcome you to be part of Channel Logics. Thank you. Let us discuss how to calculate square root of a perfect square number. Calculating square root of a perfect square number is very important and each and every student should know about this. Why means in examinations we get questions frequently based upon how to calculate square root of a perfect square number. Now this is very simple technique. I am going to explain it very clearly in detail. Now just listen it so that you can easily solve questions based upon calculating square root of a perfect square number. Okay. Observe here, before starting how to solve this, few important points to be noted. Now if you observe, when do we get last digit as 1? When do we get last digit as 1? Actually if you observe here, here we have written squares. From 1 to 30 we have written squares. Yes or no? 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, so on till we have written 30 squares. Now my question is, when do we get last digit 1? Now if you observe here, last digit 1 you are getting for 1 square, last digit 1 you are getting for 9 square, yes or no? Similarly, if you observe, you are getting last digit 1 for 11 square, last digit 1 you are getting for 19 square, yes? Similarly, if you observe, you are getting last digit 1 for 21 square, again you are getting last digit 1 for 29 square. Which means whatever the cycle you have seen from 1 to 10, the same cycle is repeating, yes or no? So what I can conclude from this is, we can get the last digit as 1 when we are calculating perfect squares is, we can get last digit as 1 only at 1 or 9. If you do 1 square, you will get last digit as 1. If you do 9 square, automatically we will get last digit as 1, okay? This is very important point to be noted. Next, where do we get 2 as last digit? And truly speaking, you never get 2 as last digit. Yes or no? You never get 2 as last digit. You can check. You never get 2 as last digit. Similarly, where do we get 3 as last digit? Check. Where do you get 3 as last digit? 3 also you will not get. Yes or no? So you will not get 3 also as last digit whenever you are trying to calculate perfect square of a number okay next if you observe here when do we get 4 as a last digit observe here 4 you are getting last digit at 2 yes similarly 4 you are getting last digit at 8 also so 4 last digit you are getting at 2 4 last digit you are getting at 8 similarly here also you will get 4 last digit 12 18 even here if you observe 22 28 you are going to get 4 as last digit okay next 5 as last digit, 5 as last digit, you will get it only 5. 5 as last digit, you will get it only 5. Is it clear? Next, 6 as last digit, 6 last digit, you are going to get at 4 and 6 last digit, you are going to get at 6 also. Okay? 6, you are going to have two possibilities. 6 last digit, you will get at 4. 6 last digit, you will get at 6 also. Next, 7 last digit. You will not get 7 last digit. Yes or no? If you want, you can check. You will not get 7 last digit. Similarly, 8 also. You will not get 8 last digit. Check. If you want, you can check. You will not get 8 last digit. 9 you will get. Where do you get 9? 9 you are getting last digit at 3. Yes. Similarly, if you observe, 9 you are getting last digit at 7. 
Yes or no? 9 you are going to get at 3, 7. So this is the important format you have to observe. So whenever you are saying a number as a perfect square, now it should end with, that is last digit. Last digit should end with either 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9. If the number is going to end with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9, only then you can say the number is a perfect square number. Why means if you observe here, perfect squares are ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9, yes or no. But very important point to be noted, very important point to be noted is perfect squares never end with, perfect squares never end with 2, 3, 7, 8. They never end with 2, 3, 7, 8. If you want, you can check here. Perfect square value never end with 2, 3, 7, 8. They never end with 2, 3, 7, 8. Okay. So these are the important points which are to be noted while solving how to calculate square root of a perfect square number. Okay. Now we are going to discuss completely based upon perfect square number only. Okay. Whatever the technique we are going to discuss, this is going to be applicable only if the number is a perfect square. If the number is a non-perfect square, this technique is not applicable. How to calculate non-perfect square, we will discuss later. But competitive examination point of view, how to calculate perfect square is important. And this is very, very, very important. And no one will ask in competitive exams, how to calculate square root of non-perfect square. But even though we will discuss how to calculate it. But competitive examination point of view, remember, how to calculate square root of perfect square number is important non-perfect square number is not important okay now just we have discussed perfect square numbers end with 0 1 4 5 6 9 they never end with 2 3 7 8 they never end with 2 3 7 8 okay now if you observe when do we get 0 last digit observe 0 you are getting last digit at 0 only that is nothing but 10 yes or no 0 you will get last seat at 0 only which is nothing but 10 okay 1 you are going to get last seat at 1 9 look here you are getting 1 last digit at 1 9 observe here 1 last seat you are getting at 1 9 similarly you are getting last seat 4 where do we get last seat 4 last digit 4 you are getting at 2 8 yes or no last digit 4 you are getting at 2 8 similarly where do we get last seat 5 last seat 5 you are getting only at 5 yes Last digit 6, last digit 6 you are getting at 4, 6, yes or no? Last digit 9, last digit 9 you are going to get at 3, 7, okay? How to remember this? Remembering this also very simple. How to remember? Just look here, we are going to show you that, that also. Why means you have to remember that? If you remember that, only then it is going to be easy for us. Look here, last digit, last digit, look at this. Last digit you are going to get 0 at when? You are going to get at 0 only. If last digit is 0, you will get 0 at only at 0. Next, last digit 1, you will get at 1 or 9. Last digit 1, you will get at 1 or 9. That is what we have discussed now. Last digit 4, you are going to get at 2 or 8. Last digit 4, you will get at 2 or 8. Last digit 5, you are going to get only at 5. Last digit 5. Last digit 6, you are going to get only at 6 or 4. Last digit 6, you are going to get only at 6 or 4. Last digit 9, last digit 9, you are going to get at only 3 or 7. Okay, 3 or 7. Now, how to remember this is, when you add these numbers, it is going to be 10. 1 plus 9, 10. 2 plus 8, 10. Now, if you want, you can write this as 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 6 plus 4, 10, 3 plus 7, 10, which means if you know one number, automatically you can say other number. If I know that 9 last digit, I am going to get at 3. Other number should be what? 7. Why means 3 plus 7 is 10. If I know that 4 last digit, I am going to get at 2. If I know that 4 last digit, I am going to get at 2. Another number should be at 8. Why, it mean, why means 2 plus 8 is 10? Yes or no? If I know that 6 last digit, I am going to get at 4. Another number should be at 6. Why means 4 plus 6 is 10? Yes or no? That is the reason you need to know when do we get last digit possibilities. Zero last digit you will get at zero only. 
one last digit you have two chances one or nine four last digit you have two chances two or eight five last digit you have two chances sorry five last digit you have only one chance that is five six last digit you have two chances six or four nine last digit you have two chances that is three or seven everyone should remember this by means this is going to be very helpful for us when we are calculating square root of a perfect square number okay everyone should remember when i ask you where do you get 4 as last digit you immediately should say 2 or 8 if i ask you where do you get 9 as last digit then immediately you need to say 3 or 7 if i ask you where do you get 6 as last digit immediately you have to say 4 or 6 is it clear so this is very very important and you have to remember this okay now look here this is simple three steps procedure simple three steps procedure okay calculating square root of a perfect square number is just three steps just three steps simple steps you need to follow three simple steps and you can get the answer okay look here first step first step is check the last digit possibility check last digit possibility now look here what is this four where do we get last digit four just now we have discussed last digit four you're going to get at two or eight yes or no two or eight next step next step what you have to do is you have to strike off these numbers strike off these numbers first you have to take the possibilities after noting down the possibility just you have to strike off those numbers just a strike of those numbers next step you have to check perfect square close to this number and less than this number very important perfect square close to this number and less than that number now what is perfect square close to 23 and less than 23 now that is nothing but 4 square which is 16 if you take 5 square 5 square is 25 which is more than yes or no so you need perfect square number close to that and less than that so it is nothing but 16 which is nothing but 4 square yes that is reason in the second step you need to note this and you have to write it as 4 4 which means either 42 will be your answer or either 48 will be your answer but what is the answer we does not know now the third step which is a deciding step third step is going to be our deciding step so in the third step what you have to do is as we know that this is a perfect square close to 4 you need to multiply this with the next number next number means next number after 4 is 5 when you multiply this 4 into 5 is going to be 20 now if you observe that the number is less than this number if our number is less than this number then our number should uh, our value should be a bigger value if our value is uh, if our value is bigger than this value then our square should be a bigger square if our value is less than this value then our square should be a smaller square now look here is 23 less than 20 or greater than 20 greater than as it is bigger value our value square should be a bigger square so bigger square means we can say answer for this is going to be 48 is that clear so 48 square is going to be how much 2304 it is going to be our answer very very simple three steps procedure you just follow three steps if you follow these three steps automatically you can solve these questions very very easily in examination point of view very very easily i am repeating these steps one more time first step is check the last digit note down the possibilities and strike off last two digits this is the first step next you need to check perfect square close to the remaining number and that number should be that perfect square should be less than the number now for this 23 perfect square close to 23 and less than 23 is uh, that is nothing but 4 square which is 16 so write down that 4 which means 42 or 48 should be your answer that is our second step third step is deciding step after getting 4 next number you need to multiply 4 next number is 5 4 5 times 20 now compare our value with 20 when you compare our value 20 if our value is bigger our square should be bigger if our value is smaller our square should be smaller that's it nothing more than that simple three steps procedure look here we're going to look at some more examples when do we get nine 
नाइन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इट एट थ्री और नाइन एस और नो थ्री सॉरी नाइन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इट थ्री और सेवन एस और नो थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाइन सेवन स्क्वेर इज फोर्टी नाइन सो थ्री और सेवन रिमेंबर दैट सम ऑफ दिस शुड बी टेन टू प्लस एट इज टेन थ्री प्लस सेवन इज टेन देर इज नो चांस ऑफ फॉरगेटिंग स्ट्राइक ऑफ लास्ट टू डिजिट्स स्ट्राइक ऑफ लास्ट टू डिजिट्स परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर क्लोज टू थर्टी नाइन एंड लेस देन दैट मेरी सिक्स स्क्वेर इज थर्टी सिक्स यस विच मीन सिक्सटी थ्री और सिक्सटी सेवन नाउ दिस इज सेकेंड स्टेप नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू थर्ड स्टेप सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नेक्स्ट नंबर सिक्स सेवन टाइम्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी फोर्टी टू नाउ कंपेयर अवर नंबर थर्टी नाइन इज लेस देन फोर्टी टू एस थर्टी नाइन इज लेस देन फोर्टी टू अवर स्क्वेयर शुड बी ए स्मॉलर वन so smaller one means 63 so 63 is going to be our answer okay 63 is it clear very very simple just follow simple three steps and you can get these answers look at the next one here we have last eight six when do we get last eight six last eight six we are going to get two possibilities one is at four and other is at six yes or no four or six strike last two digits next perfect square close to 31 and less than 31 There is nothing but five square. Yes, as it is five square, this should be fifty-four or this should be fifty-six. Now, what you have to do? Five multiplied with next number. Five six times it is going to be thirty. As this is thirty, you have to check with thirty-one. Now, thirty-one is bigger than thirty. As thirty-one is bigger than thirty, our square should be a bigger square. Yes, so we can say answer for this is going to be fifty-six. Is that clear? Very 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 simple. Just a fraction of seconds. Once if you know these three simple steps, you can get answers very easily in examination. Okay. Next six. You have last eight six. Where do we get six? Six you are going to get at four or six. Strike off last two digits. Next perfect square close to forty nine and less than forty nine. Seven square is uh, sorry. Perfect square close to fifty four and less than fifty four is seven square. Seven square is forty nine. Yes or no? Which means this should be seventy-four or seventy-six. What you have to do? Seven should be multiplied with next number. That is eight. Seven eight times it is going to be fifty-six. Now fifty-four is less than fifty-six. As this is less than, you need a smaller one. Smaller one means seventy-four. So answer is going to be seventy-four. Is it clear? So square root of two three zero four is nothing but forty-eight. Square root of three nine six nine is sixty-three. Square root of three one three six is fifty six. Square root of five four seven six is seventy four. Is it clear? Very very simple three steps procedure. If you follow these three steps automatically, you can calculate square root of any number that is perfect square number very easily. We have some more examples. Look here, some more examples. We can solve this also. When do we get nine? Nine you are going to get two possibilities. Yes or no? One is a three and other is a seven. Yes, strike off last two digits. Next, perfect square close to sixty-eight and less than sixty-eight. Eight square is sixty-four. Yes or no? Eight square, which means this should be eighty-three or eighty-seven. Next step, what you have to do? Eight multiplied with next number. Eight nine times it is going to be seventy-two. Now, if you observe, sixty-eight is less than seventy-two. As sixty-eight is less, our value should be a smaller value. Smaller value means eighty-three. Simple. If your value is smaller, answer should be smaller. If your value is bigger, answer should be bigger. Sixty-eight is less than seventy-two, so seven. Uh, as it is small, it is going to be eighty-three. If it is big, then it is going to be eighty-seven. Okay. Let's go for the next question. Where do we get five? Five will get it only five, which means for five you don't have two chances. One chance only. For five it will be only two steps. You don't need third step also. Only two steps. Strike off last two digits. Now perfect square close to seventy-two and less than seventy-two. What is perfect square close to seventy-two and less than seventy-two? If you observe, uh, eight square it's going to be sixty-four. Eight square, yes. Nine square if you do, it is going to be eighty-one, which is more. I need lesser, so eight square. So this is going to be eighty-five. So directly you can say, and this is going to be eighty-five. Okay, very very simple. If you observe here, for five we have one possibility only. As for five we have only one chance. For five, you need only two steps, but for remaining, you have two possibilities. That is the reason three steps. But for five, we have only one chance, so only two steps. Is that clear? Next, look here. This is six. When do we get six? Six, you are going to get at four or six. Yes or no? Strike off last two digits. Next. 
92. Perfect square close to 92 less than 92. 9 square is 81, which means this should be 94 or 96. Now, what you have to do? 9 multiplied with next number. That is 9, 10 times it is going to be how much? 92. Now, compare 92 is greater than 90. As 92 is greater than 90, our value should be bigger value. Bigger value means 96. So, 96 is going to be our answer. Okay. Very, 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 very simple. Just it's a matter of fraction of seconds. In fraction of seconds, you can get these answers. Look at the next one. Here you have 6. 6, where do you get 6? 6 you are going to get it 4 or 6. Strike off last two digits. Next you need a perfect square close to 129 and less than 129. 11 square is nothing but 121, which means it is closer. Yes or no? 11. So this is going to be 11. Now what you have to do? 11 multiplied with next number. 11 12 times. Yes or no? So 11 12 times it is going to be how much? 132. Yes, 132. Now, if you observe, 129 is less than 132. As 129 is less than 132, so our answer should be smaller one. Smaller one means it is going to be 114. Yes, so we can say answer for this is going to be 114. Very, very simple. Fraction of seconds. Three steps procedure. Simple three steps. You need to follow this three steps procedure. If you follow this simple three steps, you can calculate square root of perfect square number very easily in two seconds of time but this one everyone should know about this why means this is very very important and based upon this we get questions frequent in examination so once if you are going to follow this three steps then automatically calculating this is going to be very very simple okay now we have some more examples look when do we get nine we are going to get nine as last digit when do we get nine 9 you are going to get last digit 3 or 7. Yes. Now cancel last two digits. Next we need perfect square close to 151. Perfect square close to 151. 12 square is 144. If it is 13 square 168 it will be big. So it should be 12. Yes or no? 12. If it is 12 it is going to be 123 or 127. Next you have to multiply 12 with next number 13. So 12 into 13 is nothing but 120 plus 36. 120 plus 36 means it's going to be 156. Now look, 151 is smaller, smaller than 156. So our value should be smaller value. Smaller value means it is going to be 123. Yes or no? So it is going to be 123. Very, very simple. Just you can solve these questions very easily in examination point of view. Okay. Next look at this. 15876. What is last hit? Last hit is 6. 6 you are going to get it 4 or 6. Strike off last two digits. Now you need perfect square close to 158. That is nothing but 12 square. Yes or no? So it's going to be 12. 12 multiplied with the next number. That is going to be 13. So 12, 13 times it is going to be 156. As this 156, 158 is bigger. So as it is bigger, so our answer should be a bigger value. Yes. As our answer should be a bigger value, bigger value means 126. So 126 is going to be our answer. Why means we have 158, but this is 156, which means 158 is bigger than 156. As 158 is bigger than 156, we need a bigger number. Bigger number means 126. So 126 is going to be our answer. Okay. Next, look here. Last digit is 6. When do we get 6? 6 we are going to get it at 4 or 6. Strike off last two digits. Next, perfect square close to 179 and less than 179. If you do 13 square, it is going to be 169. If you do 14 square again, it is going to be more. So you can't take. 13 square you have to take. So this is going to be 13. So if this is 13, even this should be 13 and this should be 13. So 13 multiplied with next number, that is nothing but 14. So 13, 14 times it is going to be how much? 130 plus 13, 4 times it is going to be how much? 52. 130 plus 52 means it is going to be 182. Now, if we observe 179 is less than 182. As it is small, then obviously our value should be a smaller one. So, smaller one means 134. Yes. So, answer is going to be 134. Very simple. We came to know that perfect square closer for this is 13. So, 13 multiplied with 14. 13, 14 times will be how much? 130 plus 52. Which is going to be 182. This is 179. 179 is less than 182. As it is small, our value should be a smaller one. So, smaller one means 134. So, 134 is going to be our answer. Okay. Next, 
here you have four yes or no as you have four when do we get four last hit four last hit you can get it at you can get it at two or else you can get this at eight also yes strike off last two digits next you need a perfect square value close to 249 now if you observe here uh, 15 square is going to be 225 yes or no 15 square now if you are going to calculate 16 square it will be more than 249 so 15 square is going to be 225 so as 15 square is closer now this is going to be either 152 or it is going to be 158 now what you have to do multiply 15 with next number that is going to be 16 so 15 16 times which is going to be how much 160 plus 80 that is going to be how much 240 yes this is going to be 240 160 plus uh, 80 that is going to be how much 240 yes now observe here this 249 is greater than 240 which means our value should be a bigger value bigger value means 158 it is going to be an answer yes or no why means 249 is bigger than 240 yes or no as it is bigger our value should be a bigger one so answer is going to be 158 is it clear so we have some more questions observe here when do we get six 6 you are going to get it at 4 or 6 yes or no cancel last two digits next you have 466 perfect square close to 466 you have to know now 21 square is nothing but 441 21 square yes so i can say close to this is nothing but 21 okay 21 multiplied with next digit that is nothing but 22 21 22 times is nothing but 420 plus 42 420 plus 40 is something but 462 yes 420 plus 42 that is going to be 462 466 is bigger than 462 which means our value should be a bigger value bigger value means it is going to be 216 very simple yes or no now look here in this you have last hit 6 when do we get last hit 6 last hit 6 we are going to get at 4 or 6 strike last two digits okay strike last two digits next you have 501 so perfect square close to 501 perfect square close to 501 means if you take 21 square it's going to be 441 if you do 20 uh, 21 square will be 441 22 square if you're going to do it is going to be how much 22 square it will be 484 and 23 square will be 529 it will be more so 22 square you can take 22 square will be 484 which is close to this and less than this so this is going to be 22 this is going to be 22 22 multiplied with next number that is 23 what is 22 23 times which is going to be how much 460 plus 46 460 plus 46 means it is going to be 506 yes now just compare if you compare this 501 is less than 506 which means our value should be a smaller value smaller value means 224 look here definitely you need to know what is the perfect square closer if he does not know that then obviously you can't do that for 501 what is the perfect square closer 22 square is 484 which is close to that that is the reason it is going to be 22 22 multiplied with next number 23 22 23 times is nothing but 460 plus 46 460 plus 46 means 506 501 compare with 506 501 is smaller value as it is smaller our value should be a smaller one so 224 is going to be our answer okay next look at this one here you have 6 6 you are going to get it at 4 or 6 yes or no strike off last two digits next you need perfect square close to 3065 sorry 3069 you need perfect square close to that now what is the perfect square close to that now if you observe if you calculate 55 square what is 55 square you know how to calculate 55 square 55 square is nothing but uh, how much 55 square is nothing but 30 25 30 25 means it is close and it is less than which means it is going to be 554 or 556 yes or no 554 or 556 now i need to multiply it with next number next number means it is going to be 56 yes now if you are going to multiply it with 56 now what is half of 56 half of 56 is going to be 28 yes or no so 2800 plus 280 so 2800 plus 280 which is going to be how much 3080 which means if you multiply this it is going to be 3080 yes or no 3080 
by means I am writing 55 as 110 by uh, 55 you, you if you want 55 you can write it as uh, simply there is nothing but 100 by 2 plus 10 by 2 you can write yes or no then what happened you need to do half if you do half 56 half is nothing but 28 2800 times 2800 28 10 times 280 when you add both of them it is going to be 3080 yes or no 3080 3080 means observe now this is 3069 3069 is less than 3080 as this is less we need a small value small value means it is going to be 554 so answer for this question will be 554 if this is bigger value than this our value is a bigger one as our value is small we need to take the smallest one so smallest one is nothing but 554 is that clear so this is how you are going to calculate square root of a perfect square number calculating square root of perfect square number is simple three steps procedure if you are going to follow these three steps then automatically you can calculate square root of perfect square number very easily in examination point of view is that clear